Modern Warfare 3 is approaching fast and with that there comes a few questions. I'm here to tell you what to expect and everything that will be transferring to Modern Warfare 3. But first let me ask if there was one thing you could choose to always keep what would it be? Like camos or operator skins or something. Even from like previous Call of Duty's not just Modern Warfare 2. So let me know down below. But let's talk about the campaign reworks for us off since we were just able to play the campaign and all the rewards we got from it. So we'll go with that. We will be able to get free rewards for completing the campaign just like we previously got. And the rewards for this year's campaign will be getting some operator skins along with some calling cards and also like double XP and stuff that will actually help you. But from all the campaign rewards, that's kind of obvious that you're gonna keep that and stuff like that. So we'll go into the next one, which is moving on through. We have the beta rewards. And if you have participated in the model for three beta, any rewards you earn from leveling up, which you could go to all the way, I believe to level 30, you were able to get you different rewards and items and a free operator skin depending on the level you got. If you had gotten to level 30, you got the operator and that would be available on launch or day one of Modern Warfare 3. Now, something that I know a lot of people are going to be happy about will be the transfer of operators, especially since there was a lot of diverse casts of operators and all of them will be available in Modern Warfare 3, which means if you have a favorite operator you love using, now, well, you can still and will be able to use the operator. It does suck that we are able to get the previous operators from the previous Modern Warfare 2019, as that game had some pretty cool and great looking operators in that as well. So if you are excited for these skins to transfer over and for everything else that is able to be transferred over, drop a like on this video right now as it does help me out, because I know that's pretty a nice thing to keep your operators even to the next game. The next thing that is important that is transferring to the next Call of Duty will be weapons. This is probably the most critical aspect of gameplay. So every weapon you previously were able to use and have will be coming to Modern Warfare 3, making this game have the most amount of weapons in its life cycle at the beginning. But do know if you were not able to unlock a certain weapon or have stopped and have previous weapons locked, still don't worry, they should still be able to unlock by completing challenges in Modern Warfare 3 and also in the zombies if you extract with that weapon. And whatever weapon level you have on that weapon will also be carrying over so you do not have to start back from zero, which is really nice. Which will lead us to my next point, which is weapon attachments from all the previous weapons will also be transferred over. So we'll be having a whole lot of customization on weapons than ever before. And this is going to be a crazy day one of people having maxed out weapons and different weapon like attachments for them wrappings. Now, the next thing that we'll be transferring that I am super happy about is the camos as it's one of the ways to stand out for everyone. And all the camos that you have unlocked in Modern Warfare 2 will be transferred over to Modern Warfare 3, which includes all the base camos, weapon challenges, sex like you've done, event camos, and so many more that were in the life cycle of MW2. Now, the only thing which I believe will happen, which who knows they might change, is what I would assume that these camos would only be on the older guns from the previous Call of Duty which would mean that the Modern for 2 weapons would only go on the Modern for 2 weapons even in Modern for 3 so none of it will go on to the new weapons and since we're on the subject of weapons the next thing that will be transferred over will be weapon blueprints which have often featured unique cosmetics and specific attachments on them weapons however though everything that was unique about them like attachments and camos will only be for the Modern for 2 weapons Another great thing though is able to be transferred will be the cosmetics for weapons and vehicles like weapon charms, stickers, decal emblems, calling cards, and vehicle skins. So you can keep using everything that you are currently using. Something that will be great ahead of everyone and slightly grind out right will be XP tokens, meaning if you want to level up quickly or boost the new weapon progressions and get a head start on the grind, that will be transferring over as all the COD points you have at the moment. Now, something to be aware of though, as if you are switching platforms or anything, do know that COD points will be different depending on what platform you have it on. So if you're on Xbox and you're switching over to PC, you might have zero on PC and you might still have like the 800 or however many you have on that platform. For the most part, almost everything that we currently have will be able to be brought over and be used in one way or another. For the most part, disregard some things. If you thought this video has cleared some headache up and made things easier to understand, we'd greatly appreciate if you subscribe for more Modern 3 information. And here are some class loadouts that you can use in Warzone.